Hey guys, what up? Thank you for watching this video. And what we're looking at is Django e-commerce options. I just recently tried to build an e-commerce platform with Django, and this isn't the first time actually. I've tried this endeavor uh, a couple times actually in the past, and each time there's some sort of uh, you know framework or something out there that that shows some promise and it looks like it works. And then I try to download the latest version of Python, or maybe I'm using Postgres. Um, you know, the latest version, whatever it may be, maybe it's Windows, maybe it's Ubuntu, the thing never seems to work properly. And unfortunately, uh, e-commerce websites are not an easy thing. Shopping carts, state management of, you know, ma main managing, you know, tracking products that are in people's carts and also dealing with like different taxes, uh, shipping, invoices, inventory, all that stuff. Um, e-commerce platforms are not like exactly easy to develop. There's a lot of money, uh, a lot of problems riding on whether or not this thing uh, works or not like if you end up charging some customer you don't ship the product you have no idea uh, that that's a major issue obviously your shop can be taken down so the point behind this video is that there are a few options out there with Django as far as I'm aware uh, with e-commerce platforms and we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at those options also look at some other options that you may have and then finally we'll look at uh, also what paid versions um, are available as well um, so there, there's a lot of options that you have, and um, depending on, I guess, what your what your ambitions are, is going to determine, you know, exactly where um, you end up uh, choosing or what you end up choosing. So the first things first is we have Django cartridge. So Django has a CMS uh, thing where it's um, almost like a like a bootstrap of Django, where it kind of gets a lot of it does a lot of things for you and not necessarily things that you need it to do for you, but it does do a lot of stuff like having uh, the ability to add Google Analytics, um, being able to apply Bootstrap to your Django project and stuff like that. I've never actually used it. I've never found the need for it, but this uh, Django mezzanine project is out there and I'm sure that you guys have used it before. I've actually run into issues using it with the latest version of Python on my Windows machine. So that was the first time I tried to, d to dabble with it and it didn't work. But Cartridge here, Django has a Cartridge plugin that works with Mezzanine. So if you actually just pip install Cartridge, it should install Mezzanine for you and get a pretty good solution working for you. However, I was not able to get it working correctly on my Windows machine. And I think I just pretty much said, you know, this is not going to be you know, an option for me. So I ended up moving on from that project. Um, however, you guys may have different success depending on which version of Python you're using and also which operating system. The next one is Django Oscar, and I've actually been involved in uh, Oscar just a little bit as far as you know, following the code on GitHub. And I think at one point I did log a bug or something like that. But uh, with Django Oscar, there is a it, it's very opinionated, so it does a ton for you out of the box, and I think it's built mostly by some guys overseas. So like, there's a lot of currency uh, conversions and, and, and code like that that's all intertwined throughout the project. So actually getting into the source code and trying to figure out where things um, went wrong is even harder than trying to look at Django source code. There's just so much to it and there's a ton of moving parts. And it's another situation where I just couldn't really get it working right with the latest version of Python. And when I was looking at the project myself, I was like, ah, damn, this is just going to take way more effort than what I was hoping for. And I'll get into that a little bit more as we move down through these slides. So Django Oscar is another option for you. Then you have Django Satchless. And Satchless gets its name based off of a um, an ugly project called Django Satchmo. And Satchmo I actually have on this list, but was one of the most unpleasant experiences I've ever had working with a Django project. However, Django Satchlist apparently is supposed to it gets its name from Satchmo where it says Satchlist because it doesn't come with so much stuff that Satchmo was trying to do for you. Like I said, Satchmo itself was a terrible experience. I've never tried Satchlist. I've heard that the documentation is not very good. And once again, um, you know that's never a good thing when you're trying to get something off the ground when you didn't write the source code yourself. So then I have Django Satchmo on here, and this is, like I said, the most unpleasant project I've worked on. And as far as I can tell, this project's effectively dead, uh, but it is still out there, and a lot of people still, it still shows up in, like, different searches and communities and things like that. 
So then we have uh, Django Shop, and Django Shop is supposed to be very unopinionated. It basically handles the, the actual shopping cart checkout process for you, so everything else is kind of left up to you. Unfortunately, um, there's not a ton of documentation on that, and I haven't had a lot of experience with this because by the time I actually tried out Django Oscar and a few other options, I pretty much had disbanded uh, Django as being a good e-commerce platform, um, at least with what you know what has been created by the the community out there. So, you know, unfortunately, there isn't much else out there for Django that I'm aware of. And really, you know, I put down here, Django's e-commerce packages leave a lot to be desired, unfortunately. I'm not trying to hate on Django. I love Django. I've always been a contributor to Django. But when it comes to actually running an e-commerce site, the Django options uh, that I've seen out there just aren't aren't very good. They're not They're not very reliable. They're not very good. So I said, what other options are out there for e-commerce platforms? Well, there's free options. And with free means that there's going to be a lot of PHP stuff. So there's like OpenCart. I've used OpenCart before. Uh, my only problem with OpenCart is it's very, I think it's a little bit more difficult to extend it. I'm not a PHP guy. I actually don't like PHP very much. I can work my way around it pretty well. But the thing that I do like about OpenCart is it, has, it, it is very, very easy to set up. The problem is that there is a lot of e-commerce sites out there that are using OpenCart now, and they all look exactly the same. Um, you can buy all these different add-ons and things to OpenCart, but um, the biggest issue of all with OpenCart is that it is a slow mug, and that's why I said it's slow as a mofo. This, it was the slowest thing I've ever had to work with, I think, when it comes to like a back end. Like I try to go and add a product, and it just seems like it takes forever. If you ever have to do bulk inserts and stuff like that, you're probably best just communicating with the MySQL database or whatever database system you're using. Uh, but good luck trying to figure all that stuff out because a lot of these um, tables and things that OpenCart is making for you make it very difficult to work your way around it. But then again, e-commerce platforms are never an easy easy thing to work with to begin with. Um, so here's a screenshot of OpenCart. It's a very professional-looking site. In fact, it hasn't changed much in the years that I've seen it because um, the last time I actually had an e-commerce site running was like two and a half years ago, maybe longer, and it looked exactly the same as this. So I guess not much has changed over there in OpenCart over the years. The next one is uh, Magento, and Magento is also PHP. It's open source. There's a paid version, um, and customizing it is a real uphill battle. Um, so I've never actually had to customize it, but I've heard that actually working through Magento is a very, very big pain. But it is a very professional platform, and ultimately they're pushing the you know the paid version so that you can get business support and stuff like that, which is probably a good thing if you're very serious about having an e-commerce site running. So then there's PrestaShop, uh, another PHP site, and PrestaShop is very similar to OpenCart where I was able to get it running very quickly. Uh, but once again, the problem was that it's hard to customize and it's slow as dog poo. So the slowness is, it really got to me after a while of trying to manage my inventory and stuff like that. If you're just selling a few products, then it's no big deal. But, you know, for any sort of major e-commerce site, I, I felt like it was very difficult. But at the same time, when I say difficult with OpenCart or Magento or PrestaShop, they're not nearly as difficult as what's being supplied out of the box with Django because Django options just don't really work they're halfway working they're never supported the documentation is never up to date um, so it's just a problem so then i said what are the paid options out there so if you actually start weighing the pros and cons of these things the paid options start to look a little bit more attractive when you're actually talking about charging customers and dealing with you know chargebacks and things like that so there's shopify and everybody's probably heard of Shopify at this point, but I mean, you can pretty much, you have to pay them and you can get a small shop running for like, I think it's like 15 bucks a month, maybe a little bit less. And then, you know, they'll handle the credit card transactions for you. So you're going to be paying them a little bit more per transaction and all that stuff. But, you know, having the, the commercial support and all this stuff in the cloud makes things a lot easier to deal with if you're, you know, a shop owner. And then the other paid option that, that comes to mind for me is Volusion. And uh, Volusion is also a major competitor to Shopify. So those may be two options that you look at if you decide that just, you know, coding. Um, if your primary goal is just to run an e-commerce site, you know, it might be best not to build it from the ground up. At the very least, if you have any sort of, you know, f uh, tight deadlines with trying to get something off the ground, it might be an option to look at a paid service. And I'm in no way affiliated to either one of these things. I don't, you know, I could care less if you actually chose one or the other or none. Um, but... 
just in my experience when it came to building an e-commerce platform i was like well hell it might be worth just paying the 15 dollars a month and you know having a you know, professional support and stuff like that without act and that's coming from a code or two so i just i wasn't you know too happy with with the options out there with django so you know unfortunately here it is 2016 february 28 2016 django's been around for almost 10 years or 10 years now and and there just really isn't any good e-commerce platforms django oscar is probably the best but i would i would strongly caution trying to use the latest versions of python using django oscar you're in for a major headache um, probably using windows is going to give you a headache as well but if you do pick one or if i had to pick one of the django e-commerce platforms it would definitely be django oscar even though it's opinionated uh, i can work my way around django pretty well but when I have to weigh whether or not I want to do that compared to whether or not, you know, whether or not I want to spend three months trying to get a Django Oscar site off the ground or whether or not I can just want to, you know, set up an e-commerce platform in a, over a weekend, PHP options with the free version or just the paid version using OpenCart or uh, Volusion seem, you know, really attractive. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.